Welcome and thank you for joining us for our latest webinar series on conference badges. Today we'll be discussing common issues of badges and offer a simple solution. First I want to talk about the importance of badges. Badges are great for networking, being able to quickly look and gather some an attendee's name, title, company, institution, organization makes your attendees more approachable. Also being able to differ, differentiate between attendee, presenter, an exhibitor. For a lot of conferences and events, your badge is your ticket into sessions or events. Badges can also be a great opportunity for sponsorship. Put a sponsor's logo on the badge for everyone to see. Now I'd like to talk about the different badge options that most of you are probably familiar with. First we have the manual option. This is typically Microsoft Word doing a mail merge. Now this option is typically time consuming. It's also difficult to design a professional badge. It's also difficult to generate a QR code if you're looking to track continuing education, replace meal tickets, or offer an exhibitor lead retrieval system. We also have our third party option. This would be like Kinko's or Staples printing your badges. The issue with this third party option is that it can be very expensive especially if you want to print color or multiple colors. It can be difficult to correct mistakes, uh, do on-site badges, last minute printing for late registrations. The alternative is an easy and efficient way to design print badges quickly. Print on-site for late registration and even lost badges. Replace meal tickets by scanning a QR code. Offer services such as continuing education or lead retrieval by adding a QR code. That alternative is Conference Tracker, a totally cloud-based conference management tool that offers simple badge design and generation, online attendee and exhibitor registration management, automatic continuing education calculation by scanning badges into sessions using an Apple device, certificate design and generation, a lead retrieval system, and even an attendee app. Today we'll be going over how Conference Tracker solves the common issues with generating and printing badges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Conference Tracker uh, website. So um, here where I can do is um, to get your attendees into Conference Tracker rather than doing like a mail merge or putting everything, every attendee on a flash drive and taking it to Kinko's or uploading it at a third-party website uh, like Kinko's or Staples. Uh, you can simply import your attendees into Conference Tracker and print out their badge after you design their badge. Now you also have the option to do our online registration. We do have a registration form that will allow your attendees to go online and register for your conference and you have payment options as well. Now I want to get into the badge design. So under badges, we go to badge design. And you can see I've already created one, but you do have different templates to choose from. You can choose a blank one and kind of make it your own. You can also use one of the other ones uh, that have a little bit more design to them. I'll just choose one. Now this badge allows you really to put any type of information that you like. Um, on the right side, you can see we do have options for printing presenter badges and exhibitor badges. This you know, allows you to differentiate between uh, you know, your three different attendees. We also have different size options. We have a 3 by 4 uh, We have other options. The most popular is going to be your 3 by 4 uh, It's an Avery template. It's actually one of the cheapest options as well. Uh, just doing a quick... Uh, Amazon search, you can actually get 300 um, badges for under $13. Now by default, it's put the attendee's full name, you know, the name of the conference, all this, you know, I can change it down here. I can put the attendee's first name and last name in, in case you want to put the first name bigger, last name smaller, or you just want first names. You also have the ability to add title, company, or any of these fields, and we do have custom fields if you have you want to add like a cohort or something like that. All right. So uh, we can add text. So if, let's say I want to add an attendee's title. Okay. All I have to do is I'm going to erase this conference. I'm going to add title. 
so essentially that's all I have to do and, and when I'm in here I can also change font size fonts and alignments um, but I can add it quickly add an attendees title just by using the codes same thing goes for company and you get the idea now I can also add an image so let's say I wanted to add you know a conference logo a sponsorships logo I can go find my file now I can add any type of image as well and lastly let's say we want to add a QR code now the QR code serves many purposes like I said if you want to do continuing education uh, you can scan the attendees badge uh, to sign in to sessions or just to the event uh, could replace a ticket possibly um, same thing goes for meal tickets if you have the issue where an attendee loses their meal ticket um, forgot it whatever the case is you can actually replace the whole system by just registering the attendee to the session and scanning their badge and the the Apple device will let you know whether they're registered and allowed to come to that session or that lunch or that dinner it also serves as a leadership system for your exhibitors so as the attendees go to the exhibitor booths the exhibitors um, if they have the leader retrieval app can scan the attendees badge and grab their uh, common contact information like you would get off of a uh, business card so I'm going to go ahead and add the QR code so I've, I've quickly created a, a badge right so all I have to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print those badges so if I go under badges to print I can generate all my badges right here at once. Now, <clears throat> some of the issues you might have with using a uh, manual process or that third party option um, is you might be waiting until registration is over to print these badges, which in some cases could be the day before. It could be a week before. Um, with our system giving you the ability to print the badges yourself, you could uh, print out some badges ahead of time, you know, get them stuffed in their uh, badge holders, get them ready to go, and then as more registrations come in, you can continue to print them. So if I generate all badges, they're already here. You can see they're all ready. They all have every attendee's name, has their uh, title, has the name of the conference, it has the QR code, has our, our either our uh, conference logo or it has a sponsorships logo all ready to go, you print it out on your Avery paper, rip them out, they're good to go, they come to the registration booth, you hand them out, they go to their sessions, they get scanned, or you just use them as badges. Now, one option you have is if you generate them early and then you have late registrants, you can also only modify it after the last time they were printed. So you can actually print out the badges only the la uh, after the last time they were printed. So this will save you time It also might get you out of a crunch if you're printing them out the day before and you're having to spend all night trying to categorize them by name um, stuffing 300 600 a thousand badges the night before and also it can allow you to um, keep your registration open longer so if you're using one of these other options and you close your registration early so that you have time to do these badges um, you can actually leave it open longer and uh, use this process where you print out half of them you know early and then the rest of them you know day before or the, you know a couple of days before now I don't know if any of you ever get the occasional attendee who loses their badge uh, but we do have a simple solution for that as well um, you can see I can generate all badges but I have the ability to also just generate one badge at a time so I can you know or multiple badges at a time so I find my attendee I generate their badges and I can you know let's say you have a printer on site you print out the badges that you know, hand it to them they're ready to go to their sessions in case they lose their badges now for those who have on-site registration this also can be a, a major issue when you're using one of these other uh, options whether it's manual or something like Kinko's or Staples because you printed your badges out you have your attendees that are coming and they're, they're registering on site and you need a way to print out their badge right then and there. Now there's multiple ways that you can do it, but with our system, all you have to do is create a new attendee. So at that registration booth, you'll have your laptop, a computer, uh, and a printer if you're doing on-site registration. 
you can quickly add the attendee by putting in their information, first name, last name, title, company, whatever information you'd like. Conference Tracker will also auto-assign an ID number, which creates that QR code if you want to do continue education or do a lead retrieval uh, app. From here, I can save and print badge. So right on site, I'm able to add an attendee into the system, print out their badge with the QR code, um, and I don't have to use any other type of templates or anything else. It's a quick and easy process.